There are many benefits to the Resilient Communities programme and that can range from day-to-day -day support for people who have found themselves vulnerable to loneliness and isolation support or doing great things as volunteers in your community. We are a community voluntary council that help promote and support third sector organisations. I take referrals from the common access point in social services for people who don't need a higher tier level of support and signpost them to activities and support within the local community. When the pandemic started we utilised a large group of volunteers who were doing shopping and prescription runs for people in the local community and also linking people up with telephone befrienders to help them with their mental well-being. The voluntary sector has been well placed in recent months to support some of our more vulnerable people and in a range of ways from sharing small pieces of information to building strength in those people or even connecting them into great community opportunities. I've really helped people in the past with like when they've been struggling for food, we're doing them like food packages just to help them with their families get along and have food on the table. Uh, I think it had an amazing impact on people's life just to see that the smile on their face when you help them and how much it changes their life really. The feedback from individuals that I've supported has been great. They've all said how much they appreciate the service and how much it's improved their mental well-being and their independence. I remember one lady in particular who had um, difficulty getting out and about um, and she contacted Babel for support and had a volunteer to shop for her and she said that, um, and I'll forget this because she said that having that volunteer support her was better than somebody giving her a million pounds.